What's up party people? Today I have a guide for you on how to obtain the Dragonic Lacrima. This accessory not only gives great attack bonuses, but is also required for crafting the Dragonic Perpetus. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of this epic content. Let's get this party started. In order to obtain the Dragonic Lacrima, you have to craft it at NPC Island in the Valley Rift. If you need to know how to get there, you can teleport there with any teleporter in our deck or using Holy Water. Now, the items that you're going to need to craft this are a Tear of the Dragon, 30 Red Diamonds, and 10 Magic Crystals. You also need one of each Gar Argate, and I'm going to expect that you guys know how to get Argates. If not, you can always buy them in the agency, get them from a friend, or farm them in any field. Now, where do these items drop? All three of these items drop in the Elanome Party Dungeon. Now, this guide is not going to be a guide on how to complete the Elanome Party Dungeon. If you need a guide for that, you can check that out right here. I'll just be showing you the different spots where all of these items drop. I do also want to mention that in order to get the uh, Tear of the Dragon drop, you are going to need Dream Powder, and you make Dream Powder by crafting it from Dragonoid Signets. Um, I won't be covering exactly how you get these in that guide, but I also have a guide for these, so you can take a look at that right here. If not, let's get started with the dungeon. In order to get to this dungeon, you can either walk there by heading to the El Nome Shine entrance and talking to Yidnek and running north, or if you're like me and you have Holy Water currently activated, you can go to El Nome Shrine, El Nome. Now, I do also want to mention here is that if you can't teleport directly to the dungeon, there is actually a chance that you can get locked out of the dungeon. And this is because the path to the dungeon, which I'll show you right here, um, and it's actually locked right now, is not open unless somebody completes the Elenome event. And a lot of times people don't actually complete this event because there's no benefit for it. So if you need to get in here and you can't, you have to actually complete the Elenome event. Uh, but once again, this is only if you... Uh, don't have holy water or an ability to teleport here. Uh, but this is, you know, the map after you come from Valley Rift and you run just directly northeast here, and this is your dungeon. Before I show you some clips of where these items drop, I wanted to kind of give you an idea of where they drop uh, via the map. So basically how this works is when you first go into the dungeon, that is an area where the red diamond and magic crystals drop, um, as well as after you fight the four bosses in the middle, there's another area. Um, and this is just kind of where your generic monsters are that are in the dungeon, and any of these monsters have the potential to drop red diamonds and magic crystals, and I'll be showing you that in just a little bit here. And now the Tear of the Dragon drops from the optional boss at the end of the dungeon, as you can see in that final section up in the top left. So the first area that will drop the magic crystals and red diamonds that you need is right at the start of the dungeon. All you have to do is start the dungeon by killing the monsters, and then you're going to be running along a winding path. Now, on this winding path, you're going to see a bunch of civilian uh, monsters. I guess you call them monsters, they're technically civilians, and I know that doesn't seem like a very nice thing, but you need to kill these civilians. Uh, the civilians have a chance to drop the magic crystals and the red diamonds. So kill everything along this path to get your items. They do have a pretty good drop rate, so it shouldn't take you too long to get them. Now, the second location that these items drop are actually right right after the first four bosses that you fight and right before the fifth boss. Um, and there's just a large group of monsters and you basically want to stack them all up in a corner of the map. And once you have them stacked up there, go ahead and kill them. And that is another place where you can get the magic crystals and the red diamonds. The only other item you need now is your Tear of the Dragon. And that is obtained from the optional boss at the end of this dungeon. After you've defeated uh, Guardian Hitter, you can come back up to this giant eye-looking thing. And as long as you have a Dream uh, Powder, you can start your final fight. Or uh, choose to fight the uh, optional boss at the end, which is Rubinson. Uh, this is fairly easy. Once again, I'm, this part is not a guide. I'm just telling you where to get the tier. You can check out my guide for the actual dungeon if you want to, but I will just give you a little bit of a warning here. After you fight the monsters and after you get into the fight with Rubinson, watch out for red glowing orbs on the ground because they will one-shot you. But as long as you watch out for that and you take down Rubinson, most likely you are going to get your tier of the dragon drop. It has a much higher drop right now than it used to. And in fact, sometimes you even get two, which is kind of crazy. However, don't get discouraged if you don't get a drop. I was helping my friend farm it just the other day and we did do like three runs without a drop. So it does happen, but most of the time you're going to get your drop and then you will be able to craft your dragonic lacrima. So here we are. You've gotten all the pieces that you need. You have your one tier of the dragon, 
you have your 30 red diamonds, and you have your 10 magic crystals. And you also have one gold Argate, one silver Argate, and one copper Argate. If you have all of these items, you can come, you can talk to NPC Island, you can tell her that you have the materials, and you can ask to craft the, drac uh, the Dragonic Lacrima. Sorry, it's a bit of a mouthful. And then you can thank her for crafting that item for you, which is really nice. And she even lets you know here that you need it for crafting the Dragonic Perpetus, which is great. And there you go. You have your Dragonic Lacrima. In my opinion, this is actually probably the easiest one to get, given that you have someone to do the party dungeon with or you're strong enough to solo it on your own. It's really not that hard. Now, there is one other way to obtain the Dragonic Lacrima, and we will be heading to our Deca so I can show you that method as well. If you are looking for an alternate method of farming the Dragonic Lacrima, look no further. You can come to NPC Karen, and by farming the Crespo Hard Mode Dungeon, you can get Underground Skull Pieces, and those Underground Skull Pieces can be used via this system right here to get Underground Skull 3 Pieces, and if you get these Underground Skull 3 Pieces right here, you can take those, and you can exchange them again, and you can get any of the Dragonic accessories right here, including the Lacrima. However, I wouldn't recommend this for the Lacrima just because it's so easy to do it the other way. Now, the uh, Crespo Hard Mode Dungeon, if you do need a guide for that, you can check it out here. It is a harder dungeon, and you do need to have a good party. Once again, I feel like this method for getting the Lacrima is kind of kind of unnecessary just because the other method is much easier, but I do want you guys to be aware of it. Um, so that option is here as well. Anyway, I do hope you guys really enjoyed the video. You know, don't feel, or uh, sorry, don't feel, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon. I don't want you guys to miss any of my uploads. And um, yeah, questions, suggestions, leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care.